Optical Illusions in Python. So I saw these cool optical illusions by David Norvac. In these, he has balls that appear to be different colors but are not. So I thought, what happens if I create this in Python? Then I can render it in motion and at full 4K glory. And you can see the results that I have here. I can also do them in different colors than the original ones were done in. It doesn't really affect the optical illusion much. If you change the size of the bars, this does have a effect on canceling the optical illusion. Because one thing that I think I want to use this for, in addition to just some image generation utilities and examples in Python, is I'll probably use this in a future Kaggle competition with my students, generating a variety of images and questioning do they have optical illusions going on or do they not have optical illusions going on? Can the neural network predict if the image is fooling the human eye and the human brain? There's also a lot of optical illusions you can do with the YouTube like button and subscribe button. Try it yourself on this video. It's also a bit subjective even saying what color a ball is in this because if you zoom in on one of these, you can see that the lines are going in front of the bar. So really, if you talk about raw pixel count, some percentage of this ball is now a different color. It's not like real life where you've got a ball like this. This is sad. The only ball I have in my house is a dog toy, which I borrowed from Hickory. He was quite kind to let me use it. But when you move a bar in front of it, I'm not changing the color. But perhaps if I reproduced it that we had several of these, you might actually visually see a difference. That might be a fun experiment for the future or do this in Blender. So let's have a look at this in code and see what's going on. I'm creating this with Pill the Python image library, but there's other ways to do this. OpenCV is another thing that I like to use as well. So the original Optical Illusion used a 3D stylized ball. I didn't want to go through all the trouble of actually firing up Blender and bringing code in, images in. I wanted the whole thing in one actual Python, relatively short script. So I generated the 3D stylized ball by a radial gradient like you see here. Then I offset that a tad just so that the really shiny part where the light is hitting the ball is, is not dead center. And then just use an alpha and chopped out a circle around it. Bingo, instant stylized 3D, faux 3D looking ball. So we allow the, a lot of the parameters to be set. Like how many different color bars are you gonna have in the background? Is it just going to be red, green, and blue? Or are you gonna provide some other color combinations? What is the diameter of the circle? And all this is just generated by the constructor so that we're ready to go. A lot of complexity is hitting in the lens space for NumPy. We're basically just going through all of the, the bars and making sure that they're evenly spaced. Then when we place the circles, we're really just calculating where their initial locations are gonna be. The circles is just this list that's going to have them in there. So when you specify how many circles that you want to have, you're going to have three times that amount or however many colors you specified for the bars because we wanna have about the same number of circles for each bar color, actually exactly the same number or the illusion works, but it's, it's not really getting its full effect. So we're going to create say three circles for each of the colors or however many we're asking for. We place the circles one by one we consider that the circles basically have a box around them and we then make sure that we're not too close to any other circle as we place them all there. Because when we draw the circle, that becomes important because we're basically just just drawing the rendered circle that we had before. That's easy, but now we're gonna put the bars on top of them, but we're we're not like shearing the edges of the bars so that they fit perfectly within the circle. So the circles are really squares with, with square bars in there. That's why we can't have them too close to each other or the bars would overlap. Now I'm just being lazy there, but it works just fine for the rendering. Then when we go to actually render it, 
We draw the bars first, that's the background, and then we put the circles right on top. This is a color combination that I rather liked and generated of collab if you so desire. Just add a little box here and there you have it. Thank you for watching this video. Although the whole thing was an optical illusion so you really didn't see anything anyway, but if you did like it, click the like button, give me a subscription, it would be very much appreciated and you'll get to see all the future videos that I make along these lines.